the Cherry Peace Network, uh, Naida Tushnet. Um, so she's going to talk to you um, about, they're, they're going to give a message in solidarity. Here you go. Uh, my name's Nada Tushnet, and I'm representing the Long Beach Area Peace Network, also known as Labopin. Labopin has long worked toward peace and justice in coalition with other organizations. We've got a table over there if you want to be contacted. And I do want to say that Labopin members have been involved in demonstrations against police brutality in Long Beach starting in 2003 and ongoing in a number of, t number of places a number of times. Lubavin is here not only because of what the police did to Doug Zerbe, but because police killing of Zerbe is part of a pattern of Long Beach Police Department brutality. Doug Zerbe should not have been shot, and the police should release all the information they have. But sadly, I wasn't surprised at what happened. LBPD has a long history of shooting before asking, shooting before trying less extreme measures to bring about peace, shooting mentally disturbed individuals, not that Doug was, but others have been. It is fitting that we march for Doug Zerbe, but we need to go beyond that. We need to demand real, ongoing police accountability. Some mechanisms are in place. The Citizens Police Complaint Commission exists but it is weak and doesn't deal with the profound problems we face in the lack of police accountability. The city manager and the city council do not exercise appropriate oversight of the police department. So we march today in the name of Doug Zerbe, unnecessarily killed by the police. But we also march to demand structural changes so that police are held accountable and families will not need to mourn any further injustices such as this. Thank you, Nina, for that um, wonderful solidarity message. Uh, next, we would like to call up Sherman Mitchell, the president of the SCLC. Uh, that's the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. Uh, he's coming all the way out here from Victorville, so please give a warm round of applause for uh, Sherman. Yeah, we're glad to be out here to march. We came a long way. Uh, we traveled all the way from uh, Victorville, but we're here to support this family. The police brutality has to stop. I understand why they marched in Egypt. I can understand that. I can understand why they marched in Selma, Alabama. I can understand that. And today I can understand why you marched in Long Beach. You have to stop it. It has to stop. You know, they don't have no accountability of what they do. They, the lady said the same thing I'm getting ready to say. When, when the police kill somebody, they justify it. They say, we investigate. We need somebody else to investigate. We don't need you to investigate, you know, because if you investigate like she said, you're not going to find yourself guilty. You know, we need to come together and, and, and support each other. And I'm glad this rally came about. They asked me not to speak too long because I am long-winded. But I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to see the attorneys out here. Uh, they came out in the park to support the family. 